right, hello, wine-drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday and a short visit from our friends from Unfind Unfiltered. Three wines? This is the wine watch, baby. That's a minimum, actually. You know, we have some suppliers come by. They don't bring any wine at all. I just look at them like, what the hell are you doing? We don't really want to see you unless you have wine. Unless you have good wine, actually. And, uh, well, one of these wines was excellent. You know, the first two, well, I'm not a big Zinfandel fan. And Pinot Noir, we have very high expectations for Pinot Noir here. This is uh, Crute's family, Pinot Noir Soberanus Vineyard from St. Lucia Highlands. And Brian Crutes is the winemaker. That's all the information we could get from our rep about this brand. It's all purchased fruit also, so not a great story. But um, I'm sure there is a story behind it. I should have looked it up before I went to review the wines, but uh, the Pinot Noir is very nice. Got some nice red berry fruit, cranberries, raspberries, notes of brown spice, a slight green vegetal note coming out on the second day. That cooler Santa Lucia Highlands area, you can get some vegetal notes in the Pinot there, but bright and zesty on the tongue. Uh, really nice savoriness to this wine, and some good cranberry fruit here, and pretty floral notes. A very good little Pinot, $42. Like I said, we have very high expectations for Pinot Noir. All right, the Zinfandel, uh, you know, Napa, Zinfandel, Brambly, Black raspberry fruit, pretty floral notes, some underbrush, a hint of green tea there, a bright and zesty style of zin, kind of jammy strawberry fruit there, some fine tannins, that tea and green nuance lasting through the finish. For $29.25, I don't want to say I'm underwhelmed, but I'm not a Zinfandel fan. Now you have my attention. Cabernet from Stagecoach Vineyard, one of the greatest vineyard sites in Napa, the largest continuous vineyard in all of Napa, owned by Jan Krupp and company, and uh, one of the greatest sites for Cabernet Sauvignon. This wine has got a beautiful bouquet, 2010 a cooler year, so you get some of that pepper, menthol, the black currants, the black cherry showing up along with some fresh earth, some crushed rock-like mineral notes, really big and chewy on the tongue. This wine's got lots of tannins, a bit dry on the finish, bitter cocoa, really nice, intense, earthy quality here, though, that graphite. This is a big wine. It needs some time at 55.50. Excellent juice, and that's all we ask for. Excellent. Nothing less. All right, I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.